we're gonna take you through a few stretches that you can use on your low leg. The stretches, you won't do as much moving. You're gonna apply pressure and you're gonna hold for 20 to 30 seconds. You'll back out of it, move around in that range of motion that you would normally work in, and then go back into the stretch and repeating two to three times. So starting with the foot, you can take your can, your ball, your toes up against the wall, put the can underneath your foot, working your foot forward. For some of you, you'll be back with the heel. For some of you, you'll be more flexible. You'll push your heel forward. Your toes will come higher up on the wall or your couch or your desk, and you'll start to push your body forward. It'll apply pressure to the underside of your foot. When you're ready to work your calf, you can unlock the knee, push the knee forward, and that'll apply pressure to your calf. And then when you'd like to hit upper part of your calf, you pull your knee back into close to lock position, shift your hips forward, and you'll start to apply pressure into the upper portion of your calf. If you would like to hit the outside of your calves and you just don't have any tools to use for myofascial release, you can roll your ankle outward, taking the inside of your foot upward, and it'll add a little bit of pressure into the outside of your calf. This one won't apply a lot of pressure for many of you. That's where you'd want to go towards your tools. Coming down to kneeling, we're gonna hit the inside, the, the shins, like we were hitting earlier. Coming down to kneeling, pointing your toes backwards, the tops of the feet onto the ground, and you very slowly shift your hips backward, taking your body weight back. She's very flexible. She can go back and she can actually lift her knees off the ground. If you have that flexibility, feel free to get to that point. If you don't, you do not have to go back that far. You can be in tabletop. You can be just hips slightly behind neutral. You find what works for you, hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Come back forward out of the range of motion, out of the stretch, work your feet out. Come back down to toes pointed, feet flat on the ground, and slowly start to shift back. When you start to feel slight discomfort, you hold. 20 to 30 seconds, and then you would come back out of it and repeat two to three times or as needed.